COVID-19 case, a student who traveled in the Philippines. In a press briefing, Prime Minister Manase Sogavare said the infected student was brought home through the government's repatriation effort. The patient who was quarantined in Manila tested a negative for COVID-19 thrice prior to his flight. However, Sogavare has assured the public that Solomon Islands will continue repatriating its residents. The Joint Task Force COVID Shield said cases of robbery and theft went down by 60%. Overall, the PNP recorded 46, de 46 decline um, for, for, for crimes, which include murder, homicide, and carnapping. Police Lieutenant General Elizar has urged all commanders to continue effective coordination with the local government units. And in the NBA, the Los Angeles Lakers are just two wins away from the first title since 2010 after defeating the Miami Heat 124 to 114 in game two of the finals. The injured, depleted Heat hung on as best as they could, but the 65 combined points from Anthony Davis and LeBron James proved to be too much. James finished with 33 points and nine rebounds and nine assists, while Davis continued his seller run in his first ever NBA Finals, rolling over Miami's defense for 32 points and 14 rebounds. The Heat came into game two without their two best players, Bam Adebayo and Goran Dragic. However, they were able to put up a valiant effort thanks to Jimmy Butler's 25 points and 13 assists. Now, for more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. You may also visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.